What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Deshaun checking in once again, and I'm back again with another video. Y'all already know how it go, man. If you're new to the channel, you're feeling the vibes. Comment down below, hit the bell, and subscribe, my friend. All right, today I'm coming at y'all with a trailer with a script attached to it, which is exactly what I believe I've been looking for, man. Like, you know, y'all seen some of my previous pretty much all of my previous videos where I show you guys how to lock a car on a trailer using menu well with this guy you just roll it right up push a button it's locked go where you need to go push a button drive it off plain and simple this is what I've been waiting for now this is gonna come from my dog Sajad all the way from Pakistan my big homie all the way out there hit me up say hey bro Gonna get to him, so I'm finna get it to you, man. He is the guy behind Cold Designs. Uh, links will be in the description for his Patreon as well as his YouTube channel. Uh, they are also right here on GTA5Mods.com, which is also uh, linked in the description below. Boom, hit the YouTube channel. He just taking off. You feel what I'm saying? 20 subs. So y'all make sure y'all smash that sub button and get my partner jumping. You hear me? Also, his Patreon is only 10 bucks. He not busting heads like them other guys. You understand me? Um, got a lot more scripts coming. He got a lot more scripts on the way, man. So hit that Patreon. Hit that $10 joint and show some love to my partner, man. But anyway, let's jump back to the jank. So. We're going to uh, hit the link in the description to bring you to this open car trailer add-on. And we're going to come right here to the current version. And we're going to smash that download button right there. Hey, this is his too. What is this? What is this, my friend? All right, so it looks like he has another trailer. Oh, look at that truck, though, bro. Look at the lights on the truck, bro. Anyway, he's got another trailer. Look like he got a big-ass TV right here. Some speakers out there. Okay, a little narrow jank. Got the little, you know what I mean, little canopy jank. Oh. That jank got two layers. Okay, I got to check that out and see how that works. I might be hitting y'all up with a video on that too, man. That, that's, that, yeah, two-car trailer. One upstairs, one downstairs. He got chandeliers all through the top of the jank, you know what I'm saying? But, all right, let's jump right into it, though, man. Once y'all download that, you will only need to open up your main GTA 5 directory. All right, once you get that open, go ahead and travel over to your scripts folder and open that up. Next, we are going to open up our downloads folder. All right, once we got the downloads and the main GTA directory open up to scripts, we are going to... <clears throat> Come right down here to where you see the code trailer V.1.2 jank. Double click on that jank. We ain't buying no WinRAR, so stop asking me, bro. All right, so two things we need to do. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, 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 yeah. We do need uh, we do need our DLC packs as well. All right, so let's do the DLC packs first. This is the code trailer right here. I totally forgot this. Yeah. So if you open that up, you see it is a DLC. So first things first. Let's go ahead and open up our DLC packs real quick. And of course, we're going to need open IV for this. My apologies, guys, but let's just get her done. So, we're going to take this file say, that says Code Trailer. We're going to drag it over in our DLC packs and we're going to release it. All right. I already got it. So, I ain't going to do it. But if you ain't got it, go ahead and do it. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Once we drag that over, I'm going to go to it. It'll be right here once we drag that over. Next thing we need to do is open up Open IV. Now, let's be clear. We just dragged this to our DLC packs, not the scripts folder. We just dragged the co trailer file to our DLC packs, okay? All right, y'all stay with me. Almost done here, y'all. Almost done. Let's go ahead and open up Open IV. Windows, of course. Doom, da 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 da. Boom, 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 ba da. Ay, 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 ay. Edit mode, of course. And we're going to travel. Mods. Update. Update.rpf. 
common data scroll down until you see DLC list XML we're gonna right click on that jank and hit edit and we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bot da, 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 da. all right now if y'all see I got these all over to the side these are from uh, uh, uh what do you call it uh, these are from OIV files it installs it just like this but these are are all in line it's easy I base my channel for my newbies if you advance go ahead and fly through it you know what I'm saying you already know what you're doing but if you're a newbie you need this just pay attention grab the last item line I'm, I'm gonna skip over these because I don't I just I just you know I cater to the newbies and I don't want to get y'all confused so for all the item lines that's lined up together grab the last one that's lined up just like that we're gonna hit the copy we're gonna come right here to the front left click hit the enter button on the keyboard that makes a new line then we're gonna hit paste now we got two we're gonna highlight the name of whatever file that is inside of the backslashes all right we're gonna put co-trailer or we're gonna come right here to the DLC packs left click make sure we got it highlighted we're gonna right click on that hit copy jump back to DLC list.xml to our highlighted giant right here we're gonna right click on that and hit paste now you will see item DLC packs co-trailer item once you got that just like that right there hit save now we can hop back to the scripts folder to what we was doing we don't need open IV no more we don't need a DLC packs folder no more all right pull that download back up let me pull it up real quick like 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 real quick like like where you at shot oh it's right here on my face all right now the scripts folder right here in the download folder let's go ahead and open that up two files co-trailer underscore config dot ini and co-trailer dot dll now I'm gonna delete the ones out of my script folder real quick just so I can walk you guys through what to do so we are going to highlight both of these co-trailer dot dll co-trailer underscore config dot ini and we're going to drag them to our scripts folder and we're going to drag them to the drop zone where nothing is and release bang bang all right now before we do anything before we jump in this game this is very important if you don't listen to this part you will have issues all right <clears throat> so number one let's go ahead and look through our scripts folder if you have fixed wheel turn back this is one of my go-to's I use it every single day all right if you keep fixed wheel turn back on with this script in it will not lock the car to the trailer your car will roll around it'll roll right off the trailer all right fixed wheel turn back does conflict with this particular script so Make sure you drag fix wheel turn back to your desktop or to a backup folder. I got it right here on my desktop. So I'm going to delete fix wheel turn back both files out of my scripts folder, okay? That's fix wheel turn back.dll and the fix wheel turn back ini folder. I'm going to right click and delete those after I safely drag them to my desktop which are here or to a folder somewhere. Boom 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 cuz I'm definitely going to want to put it back in there eventually. But I'm going to have fun with this script first because I've been waiting on this forever. All right, that's number one. Number two, let's open up the co trailer underscore config. Very important. Now, as you can see, to spawn the trailer, you're going to hit I on the keyboard. The boot toggle is the letter B. And the, to detach the car is the letter X. Now, boot toggle basically means it's going to let the ramp down so you can drive the car up and then hit B again it's gonna lift the ramp back up okay sample key car that's number three on a number pad all the way to the right the hauler key is the num uh, number one on a number pad I'm explaining to y'all what those are sample car for example is the adder that is GTA's version of the Bugatti you can change it to whatever you want it to want it to be changed to and the hauler which is the truck that's gonna be pulling the trailer it's C Dodger 15 V02. If you have that, boom, you're good to go. But 
I don't have that truck. So, I'm probably going to have issues with this trailer. Alright? So, let's change it to something that I do have. Alright? So, I'm going to open my DLC packs real quick. And what truck do I want to use to pull this trailer? Uh, duh, duh, duh. Why not? The 2020 Silverado. That's one of my favorite trucks. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to use the 2020 Silverado. So, I'm going to highlight right here the C Dodger 15 VO2, which is the hauler. I'm going, oh, hold on. Slow down, buddy. Slow down. What my DLC pack said. I'm going to left click on the truck I want, the name of it. I'm going to left click again. And then when the name of the truck I want to use is highlighted, I'm going to right click and hit copy. And I'm going to come back over here to the hauler, which is the C Dodger 15 VO2. I'm going to right click on that and hit paste. Now my hauler is the 2020 Silverado. So once I'm in the game, the hauler key, which is the key to uh, spawn the hauler, I can just hit number one on the keypad and my 2020 Silverado will appear. Or I can go to Simple Trainer and spawn it the way I always spawn it. Either way is fine. Next, the sample car. If you hit three on the number pad, it will spawn the adder, which is the bootleg Bugatti that GTA got. Or you can go on DLC packs. And you can pick another car to be your sample car. Uh, let me pick a car. Let me let me let me let me pick up let me pick a car. Wow, how about how about oh oh yeah this guy. Let me do this guy. Let me do this demon right here. Hit copy on that demon. I'm gonna highlight adder right click and paste now this demon is my sample car all right once we got all that together make sure now you, the, the most important one is your heart if you don't want nothing to be your sample car fine you you, you can just leave that blank but the hauler is very important guys very important change it to the truck you will be using for the trailer once that is done you can hit file and save you don't save it don't be in a discord time bro it ain't work did you save it no but uh, go 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 save it go save it all right next on that 2020 Silverado open this up there's a way that you can go into the vehicle meta and change or add that trailer so for example as a matter of fact, I ain't even going to get into it. I'm going I'm to link a video below showing you whatever truck you choose to use. I'm going to link a video below showing you guys how to make the trailer compatible to that truck so that you can tow it. I don't want to keep y'all too long, so I'm just going to link the video below. So make sure if y'all don't know how to make the trailer compatible to the truck so you can tow it, click the video below in the link and it will show you exactly how to do it. All right. I think I got all my T's crossed, all my I's dotted. Uh, so let's jump in the game and see who shot it. That was lame as hell. We'll be right back, y'all. Hang tight. All right, guys. I am back in the game, son. Real quick before we do anything, rest in peace to your closet because my closet is obviously better than yours. I got the custom Gucci J1 zone. You feel what I'm saying? I got the, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see here, son. The Gucci messenger bag. You feel me? But anyway, before we get into it. Please make sure y'all smash that sub button right there hit that post notification bell so y'all be notified every time your boy drops some heat, son. All right, let's get right into it, man. So, with the number pad, first thing we are going to do, actually, let's go ahead and spawn the trailer first. So, we're going to spawn the trailer by pressing the letter I on the keyboard like so. Trailer spawn, where did it spawn? Right here, cool. Now, as y'all can see down here, it says press B to lower the boot. So, go ahead and hit B. Scrape like that. All right. Once y'all push B, the boot is lowered. Next, we are going to spawn the car. So, what was it? Number three. On, it was three on a number pad. So hit number three. Boom. The car is spawned.
love this car, man. Of course, it does need some work. I ain't going to front. I'm going to fix this cut job, bro. The cut job is looking kind of horrible, son. Cut job. I ain't going to lie. That cut job is ugly as hell, bro. Horrible cut job. My goodness. The rims look like it's sitting on baloney. Just need some work. A little bit of TLC, but it's all good because I'm going to bring it back like I do all my other cars, man. So no need to worry. It will be available one day. All right, so you just drive your car right up on the trailer. You will see a white marker appear just like that. We're going to drive into that marker. And before we get out of the car, go ahead and push B to close the boot. And then we're going to exit the car. Exiting the car attaches it. And as you can see, it says the car is attached successfully. Boot is going up. Once it's all the way up, it will level out. Boom, there you go. Now, let's spawn our hauler, which was number one on the keypad. Where you at? There you go. I like that. Nice color red. Nice color red. Let's go ahead and connect. All right, now I'm going to go fast just to show y'all there's absolutely no movement, no shake or nothing, no rollback with this car. As y'all can see, the car ain't going nowhere, bro. Oh, 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 oh. Slam on brakes. Skirt. Damn, I took out a damn light pole. So I'm going to go ahead and go around the corner. Actually, I'm going to pull up in here and drop it. We're going to drop it right here. Let's go ahead and exit the truck. Damn, I like I see the orange in there. Paint job coming out. I like it. Pretty dope. Got a little splash of orange in there. A little strawberry orange. I like that. Now, when you walk close to it, you'll see hit B to lower the boots. Boom. And press X to detach from the trailer. I pushed X. Now, let's go ahead and hop. Girl, get off my damn trailer. What's wrong with you? Drive it off that joint. Watch out, my boy. Oh, you want smoke, bro? All right, man, let's do that. Every time I try to make a video, y'all, oh, oh, know this mother, boy. Wrong with you, man? Taking pictures? Taking pictures, bro? Man, cause you got an iPhone, son? That got a few folders just dropped, and I got it. Ugly ass little boy. Yeah. Ball head ass. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, shoot. Let's get these cops off of it. All right. Anyway, let's do another vehicle just for kicks. Uh, I'm going to say this joint real quick. Like, do, 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 do. Cause you know I want them doors up. I want the doors up. All right, cool. So I got the doors up. All right, let me get another vehicle here. I'm gonna pick one out my selection. Let's see, what we grabbing? What we grabbing? We grabbing that money. Carlo, the cutlet. Yeah, let's grab that cutlet, bro. Don't grab the cut, dog. Yeah. 
Yeah. In fact, y'all know I cannot put this cutlass on that trailer without letting them T-tops out there. T-tops are out. Windows are down. Boom, boom, boom. Now we can put it on this trailer. We gonna close the boot first and exit the car. It lets us know we are successfully attached. Remember, you know, I did some trials and tribulations with this. Just do what I'm doing. Close that boot first, always, and then exit the car. I've exited the car first, and sometimes a meaning pop up. Maybe it's a certain way we gotta do it, but I'm gonna hit my dog up and, you know, we gonna, you know what I'm saying, if it's anything that need to be done, just let me know. I'll let my dog know, or you can go to this, uh, Patreon, or you can go to this YouTube, or you can go to this page on GTA5Mods.com in the comment section and let him know, hey, this is what I'm experiencing because, you know, I actually help him out as far as, you know, testing certain things and, you know, make, you know, make sure everything is everything. And that's how we actually found out that fixed wheel turn back conflicts with this. So we're going to take this cutlass for a spin around the block. Oh, shoot. They go to the police. Slow it down. Look at him. Trying to trap somebody. Oh, ugly ass little boy. Look at the fact, is he still back there? We finna blow right past him, bro. Still back here? Yeah, he gone now. But God, this is my favorite. All-time favorite new trailer script, trailer, trailer mod, all that good stuff. Watch out, girl. Lower the boot, detach the car, and we're going to do one more. I want to see how a truck look up there, man. Maybe a donk. Let's get a donk up there, son. Let me see. Oh, uh, no. Nah, let's get the truck. Let's get the truck. Running up the money. Mm. Hold on. Ho, 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 ho. Hold up. Those rims have got to change, son. I think it's sport. This is a little baby truck. This, this is, excuse me. This is a little baby's truck. It's a replica. Get the oh oh oh, those look nice. But there they go. And little baby's truck is blue. So let's do this giant blue. Running up the money till we. Boom. Oh, those are black. This is blue. There we go. Now let's pull them hamstrings real quick. Alright, right, cool, 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 cool. And I'm gonna re-say this. That was slot 16. Boom. Alright, now we got little baby's truck. Let's go ahead and pull it up there. Shit, yo. Got 
Got that G Wagon. G550. Girl, if you don't get off my damn trailer. Alright, remember, boot first, then exit. y'all that's gonna be the video so listen man listen follow all the instructions guys and you will be just fine i promise you guys i promise you i promise you i promise you i promise you all right if you uh found this interesting helpful whatever the case may be which i know you have please smash that sub button if you haven't already leave a comment let me know what you guys think about it man i want to hear from y'all man i want to hear from you guys Want to hear what y'all thinking about stuff. Also, I'm going to put a poll up to let uh, me know from you guys what y'all would like to see in the next giveaway. Now that we getting up there in subscribers, we are a little over 1,400 subscribers, I personally think it's time to start doing some cash giveaways also. So, uh, y'all let me know what y'all would like to see in some of these giveaways. Y'all can let me know on my Discord, comments below, but I will be putting a poll up on here on YouTube. Very, very soon, my friend. Very, very soon. All right? So, yeah, other than that, y'all, uh, thanks for watching. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for doing what y'all doing, getting them numbers up. Get off, get off that boy car. That man. Get off that man car. 4PF ain't finna come see by me, bruh. Anyway, I'm out, y'all. I'm out. Peace. Chicken grease. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. One more thing. One more thing. So, I have this car saved. It was a question. Can you put a saved car on there? Like, so I'm going to say, I'm just going to save a car through menu just to see. Because I haven't, I haven't really, you know what I'm saying? I haven't really checked it, checked it, checked, blah, blah, blah. I haven't really tested that. So I just saved it through menu. It is saved. It is saved on the map. All that good stuff. Fully, completely saved. Will it still work with the trailer or will it conflict? We're going to find out right now. We move, brother. Ugly ass little girl. Boot first. Exit. And as you can see, it looks like it is still sliding. Dios mío! What I did exit the car. Alright, so this was an interesting point, and I brought it up because certain things conflict with other things. When I hop in this truck, y'all gonna see this car go all over the place, right? Watch this. See that? Saw that? Now, I'm gonna take it off, delete it. Just wanna show y'all something real quick. I'm going to bring that same car back. This time I'm not going to save the car.
So the question is, is it the car? Or, or is it the fact that we're saving it? Boot first, exit the car. Z, CZ28 successfully attached. See that? So, ladies and gentlemen, that lets us know. And, I, you know, I bought that up for a reason, just to show you guys. If you save the car with menu or with the previous app that I just did, uh, Control Your Car, which allows you to press 8 on the number pad to save the car, it will also conflict. So, there's no need to save the car. Just take the car, drive it up on the trailer, lock it in, and you're good to go. You will experience issues if you put a saved car on the trailer. That's just how it is, man. It is what it is. You feel me? Alright, so... That there is officially the end of the video. I just thought about it. I said I got to bring that up. I got to let y'all know that because uh, if I didn't, I promised there would be a ton of people like, hey, man, what's going on? So I'm glad I was able to figure that out for you guys. Hit my dog up. Cold Designs, hit him up. Hit me up. And uh, we up out this joint, man. Peace.